I'm going to make a basket on a board, Marty. I took the Unique in the Creek character board and I decoupaged some pretty fabric on it within the circle that's allowed for the design. And then we're going to put some mesh around it and we're going to put a basket in the middle and we're going to decorate the basket. Thought I'd try it and see how it works out. It may totally flop, but we're going to give it a shot. Is it nap time? Okay, what I did was I took some pipe cleaners and attached it to the back of this little basket. So I'm going to attach the basket. Hi, Levine. Welcome. Welcome back. We're taking another um, Unique in the Creek board. And we're doing something different. But then again, you know me. I bet you it's beautiful down there today. In Florida. I think Susan just got back from vacation. So maybe Susan and I need to take a vacation and come down. <laughs> For some fun and sun. Well, if you don't get to see the whole thing, Marty, you can always watch the replay. I'm trying to center this basket where I want it. This is the Unique in the Creek character board. Well, this side's longer. So let's see. I think I need longer pipe cleaners. <laughs> we'll come down and have a wreath party. How's that? Sue always likes snacks, so I'll bring the cookies. <laughs> now what I did was I decoupaged some fabric to the center of the board because I don't know how much of the basket is going to show with the florals in it. And because it was showing through the handle, I wanted to have something all the way. Hi, Cecilia. Welcome. And I didn't make my pipe cleaners long enough, so I'm struggling with them here. And in a minute, I'm going to rip them out and get new. I can't get it where I want it. I had it. There. But then I took it off because I wanted to show you where the where the um, fabric was. Thanks, Mark. Okay. So you'll see the circle has fabric decoupaged on it. Some fall fabric. This thing is going to be a pain. I already had it on here once to try it. Now it doesn't want to work. Okay, there we go. And there's of course going to be mesh on there, so it's going to cover it up. But can you all see it? never know which way to turn it. It's like when you're backing up a trailer. You never know which way to go. All right, so I'm going to start by loading the board. And I'm going to alternate. I've got sparkly mesh. has green and orange in it. And then I have the frayed edge mesh. The mesh that I used for the um, scarecrow.
glued half these up and then start and where did I put it? Okay. I'm going to also add my ribbon at the same time. And I'm only going to use the outside hole. I don't think I'm going to need to use the other hole. Because you'll see one section has three, one section has two, three, two. We're just going to try and use the end ones first. Now, if you don't mind spreading the love, I'd appreciate it. I posted all my links at the top comment. If anybody wants to try Unique in the Creek Board, it's there, the link, along with the coupon code. This is not one that I will offer as a kit because I don't have access to these baskets. So this will just be a one of a kind. There's one kit left of the witch that's behind me. There's more um, legs. I, I bought a black and orange stripe, so that's available too. And the ghost is available. Might as well just go ahead and do the whole thing. I'm just putting them through. I'm not I'm not pulling them shut yet because I'm going to be adding ribbon. So I want it accessible and easy to do. I'm going to put my hanger in there too. Um, just so I don't have to go through all the mesh at the end. All right, now, when I put in this, let me see. I'm not sure if I want to put the bow with this mesh or with this mesh. Looks pretty with either, but this mesh is tighter than this weave. So I think I'm going to put it with the one that's not as tight. Now I'm cutting my ribbon at 24 inches and what I'm going to do I'm going to ruffle this and put it in the bow dabber to hold it I always turn my edges down a little bit on the ends all right, so that's going to sit in there. Oh, no. Find me again, Levon. All right, now I'm going to find my center on this. All right. And what I'm doing is I'm making my loops the same size and just crossing over. Actually, I want the loop a little bit bigger. I'm not doing that right. Let me start over. Hold it. Pinch it in the middle. Bring it down. And cross the tails over. That's going to go on top of my mesh in where we at here. I want my ribbons all the way around. So 
see how that sits. And then I'll just fluff it over the um, zip tie so you can't see it. So we got our first ruffle with the bow. Okay, second ruffle is just going to be this mesh. And I'm going to do the same method. I'm going to ruffle it, turn my edges down just a tiny bit, and put it in the zip tie. Even. Okay, then we're going to do the next one. I'm just alternating both. And I don't know, I think I think I like this better as a woodland ruffle than a ruffle. So I'm going to redo that one. It's not it's not the effect I wanted. Much better. Hello, Brenda. Welcome. There we go. All right. Back to my ruffle. Turn the ends under a little bit. Ruffle it up. Put it in the Bodabra. Cut my bow at 24 inches. Dovetail. Fold it in half. In half again. Pinch it at the half mark. Bring this down. And then I just cross my tails over each other and put it in the bodabra. Then pick it all up together and put it in the zip tie. You could if you wanted to just zip tie the ruffle down and then go back and add the, the bow with a pipe cleaner but I wanted to do it all at once. All right. And then fluff up your loops and straighten out your tails. You see so far? Back to the woodland ruffle. up to disguise your zip tie. And 
I don't know. I may want to turn this bow around and have it facing down because it's at the top. So it might look better facing downward. I think I like that better. Yeah. And all the in the other direction. Did you find us again, Levon? Okay, fold in half, fold in half again, cinch it up the middle, and bring your loop fold down. go. Got a little bow. Straighten out my tails and loops. Okay. Woodland ruffle. How do we do that? We missed one somewhere. Yep, we did. Good thing we caught it now. And we didn't get too far ahead of ourselves. There we go. There you are, you're back. skipped a tie so we're going back and fixing I need that zip tie gun because it tightens it and then cuts it for you. Oh, 
Okay. Back to the ruffle. Okay, fold it in half, fold it in half again, pinch it, bring this down, back to the middle, and adjust your tails. love that the zip ties can be cut from the top so nothing is left to scratch the door on the back side. Fix my bow. The bow fabric matches the fabric I decoupage to the board, so it's going to tie in really nice. Woodland ruffle. Thank you. We use that same mesh in, um, in in the scarecrow when we did the scarecrow unique in the creek character board. It comes in long, you know, 21 inch, and it comes in 10 inch, and it has gold mesh running through it, which really gives it a nice touch. got it half done and see I knew that some of this was not going to cover all of the center that's why I decoupaged the fabric to it because I do want some of that to show through with the um, floral design we're going to put in there but I didn't want it all showing Ruffle. Twenty four inch. wanted this in one and a half inch and I ordered it and they sent me another roll of the two and a half inch or the two inch. I didn't want a second roll. Two and a half inch. I wanted it thinner. Scrunch in the middle. Bring your center down from your loops. And you got yourself a bow. I 
wanted to use this mesh because I wanted the basket to show through. So I wanted it to be lighter than the basket to give it some contrast. aunt lives in a retirement community and she wants everybody wants a new wreath for fall so I figured I have to start making some because she's taking orders for some and of course you know they don't want the same thing and I'm not even sure how many really am I well, you know me, that's how I roll. I try to anyhow. Thank you. Okay, then we're gonna do the woodland ruffle. I must put that charger plate on here, Yvonne. I have to think about that some more. And I know I could have put this basket in a wreath, but I wanted it to be the focal point and I didn't want the wreath taking away from it. so. That's why I decided to attach it. And I look for these baskets all the time at thrift stores. Because um, they just make just a nice little arrangement. But hanging it on the door, it's, it's what, only like nine inches? It's, the door is going to dwarf it. So I wanted this to be able to make it stand out and make a statement. So that's why I was determined to try this. I know, she's awesome, my aunt. My mom passed away three years ago and my aunt was older and I feel like I still have a connection because I can still call her when I'm having a bad day She's not close. She doesn't live close. She's about two and a half hours away, but just knowing she's there on the other end is just amazing. She wanted um, a summer wreath for her neighbors, so I made one, and I thought I better make a couple to take down with me, and uh, I took four, and her next-door neighbor, he bought that wreath. She bought the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and she had the other two sold before I even left the area. She's like, I sold them, I sold them. I want a ton it, uh, for fall. Because they like to decorate for the season. You know, not every holiday. Even though they have a nice area outside their door they can decorate. They have a little shelf. And what's nice, the, the wreaths are indoors. So they're not affected by the weather. Because there are some things you should not put on a wreath, especially if it has styrofoam in it, because it's just going to disintegrate if it gets wet. I mean, I've been wreathing for quite a few years, just decided to take it to the next level. And, you know, there's little pit berries and stuff. If they have styrofoam in them, the coating is just going to fall right off. And, and that's not what I want my wreaths to represent. I want them to hold up. So it's nice with these because I can put anything in them. And I'll know they're not going to be out in the elements. Just checking to make sure I'm getting all your comments. 
All right, Woodland Ruffle. We don't have too much further to go, and then we can start the florals. Plus, in a retirement village, they don't have a whole lot of storage. So if they only have to worry about four wreaths a year, that's better for them, too. Okay. Welcome, Janet. We're getting towards the end of the wreath part. We're doing 20 inch um, ruffles. And then in between, we have an 18 inch um, woodland ruffle in a different mesh and a bow in every other one. hole and then we have a basket sitting in the middle that we're going to decorate with florals and to recap I decoupaged a piece of fabric in the middle of the character board because I knew some of the basket was going to show through. So I didn't want that looking gray. And I only decoupaged the one side of it. So it really looks, it really looks like it's going to hold up well. Woodland Ruffle. to the ruffle. And if you don't mind sharing the love, I'd really appreciate it. All the links are pinned to the top. If you want to be notified when I go live, just type in the word live and my bot will notify you.
see no tying involved at all. Just folds, folds, folds. <gasps> that one slipped away. There we go. Let's start over. That one just popped right out. If I'm missing your comments or haven't welcomed you, it's because I'm only seeing a few. So I go back at the end. I know, right? There's a lot of texture here. These boards are amazing to work with. I really like them because for some of them, you know, you can really do different things with them. And since the post office has raised their rates on all us wreathers that ship with the high boxes, um, I'm trying to make it easier for my customers to purchase from me because we went from shipping um, wreaths like 20 between 12 46 and 20 some dollars to up to like 46 dollars now because they're measuring it according to the height of the box and we all have these large boxes that we purchased so we can tie our wreath down and make it um, so the wreath doesn't get bounced around or get ruined so they're killing us with the rates. So I want to have flatter wreaths. And these Unique in the Creek boards are one of those ways I can accomplish that. So my customers don't have to pay a lot for shipping. And now, Etsy is encouraging all of us to um, to not charge for shipping. They want us to do free shipping. And if we do free shipping, they will um, send business our way. So it's like, really? I think I like this going up instead of down. And I'm not impressed with some of the pipe cleaners that are out there now either. And the zip ties are a lot stronger. Okay. Now you can see what's peeking through. Okay, we need to go that way. That's, that's exactly how I wanted it. I didn't want you seeing the base. I wanted this to shine through. And I wanted a backing to cover the gray. So I've accomplished what I set out to do. So now... Now, I, I have these in my shop now. It's a little velvet pumpkin that comes in white and it comes in orange. I have a little scarecrow I can put in there. Same colors. I also have a sunflower with some acorns. And these little pods. And because I want this to kind of look country, I'm going to throw in a couple pieces of the uh, cotton that I had left over from another project. 
but I thought all these would make a nice um, add-on. Now I think I'm going to get rid of this small pumpkin that's in here with the um, sunflower. Thank you, Brenda. Now I added a little um, styrofoam in the bottom of the basket. I did glue it and I added a little um, straw to cover it up. I do have um, that moss if I need it. And again, we may not even see the back of the wreath, but I'm loving these. And see, when I pick florals, I like to pick them that have several different things in it. See how you have the smaller, the larger, and those do not feel like styrofoam. They're a lot harder than styrofoam. So they would hold up okay outside. And then this has different leaves than the other two do with some pods and little balls. Now they are styrofoam, but because this is going to be an indoor wreath not exposed to the weather, it won't um, come apart. Okay, so I have three different picks to put in here. May not have room for all of them, may not want all of them in there, but we will sure work with what we've got and see what we can do. All right. I've got three leaves in here, some longer leaves, little little flowers, and some pods. So I think I'm going to stick that in the middle. Although it may look better to the side. You can see the leaves can come out over here. I'm not even going to see much of the basket, but that's okay. We've got a little bit of the texture at the bottom. See, I went with orange because I thought that would go nice with the ribbon, but it would also um, hold up nice next to the mesh. Okay. I'll cut some of this off. To give it another compliment, I'm going to glue in the cotton and then for the height, I'm going to get the little scarecrow in there. Let's see how high we want him. He may just be the right height. And I also have some wheat that I got at Sims. Just another texture to add in there at different heights. I 
think I am going to need some green. Greenery. which I have I have two kinds that I can add this has green with brown in it and this has green with orange I may take some of the green off of both because I think adding the orange in there is going to be overkill. So I need to tone it down a little. Yes. That's what we need. some coming down too. It's totally disguising the basket pretty much. went too short on the sunflower, so I'm going to attach it to the bottom of this with the zip tie.
Okay. We are done. <laughs> yes, there will be a replay, Lana. Hi, Dawn. Yeah, you can go back in um, under videos, and it will be in there. Now I'm going to take this out and glue it and position it, but we just put mesh around the side, decoupage the fabric in the middle just in case any of it showed through which it didn't, but if I take some of it out, I'd still have a camouflage there. And you really can't even see the basket, but we know it's there. I mean, I can push it away there. Anybody have any questions? I could probably stick more of this in there. It's just really nice. You should get a lot on one. That's from Sims. It's called 30 inch wheat, wheat stem with grass is the name of this one. I think it needs two more pieces of it, so I'll just end up using the whole one. Well, thank you, Brenda. I was trying to do something different, but um, give the basket an area to make a statement, and I think I think it did. The basket itself was too small to fit on a door, so my goal was to make it the center point of the wreath, and I think I think I did that. I'm gonna play with these some more. I mean, that's basically. but you can see a little bit of the basket. It's, it's, I think they call them like a pocket basket or a purse basket. Um, Cause I actually had a larger one, but see how that sticks out as opposed to the other one. It's really, it's nice. It would be a nice wall hanging, but I'm trying to get my wreaths shorter in, in, height and so this basket worked better this made the wreath stick out a oh, look it's what it's over nine inches so I'm trying to stick to under you know